Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Crashlands. We're just about to go to the high ground. Once we get the high ground, that's it. Game's over. Because once you have the high ground, you win. So, it's right there. We just have to go over a bit. I have a feeling it's going to be a boss fight. I don't know exactly when uh, the boss fights occur. I can't remember to the last time I played. But I just have a feeling that this is... This is going to be one one boss fight that uh, we're going to want to be prepared for. Okay, so we should be entering in the zone now. We just have to find where the high ground exactly is. And then we'll be good to go. And see what's what. Still got some firecrackers, which is good. They're pretty powerful. Is this still technically in the zone? Yeah, okay. So we're just skirting along the outside. Pick up the femur while we're here. Filthy, filthy turtles. This is probably too far up. Oh, we're still in. We're skirting around the outside. It's probably just right in the center. So let's just check out the center. Because that's probably all where we need to go. Ah. It appears that that was the correct assumption. Just gonna get some stone and the femur while I'm here. And we're gonna find the entrance to this place. And we're gonna wreck it. We're gonna win. And uh, everyone's gonna know our names. Uh, let's just build a, a quick bridge across. Sure. Pick up the femur along our way. Some soil. Good for planting. Some more shard stone or whatever it's called. Dusk crystal. I was way off. A dusk shard, maybe that's where I got the shard stone from. Okay, where is the entrance? Looks like it's right here. The high ground. Immediately we're going to start with a battle. One palax. Zuganator. Oh wow! Already, first hit. This is some impressively defended land. Looks like a freaking fortress. Oh, I killed him. I thought I died. Oh boy. You just had to choose a dang castle as the optimal calm relay placement. It's the highest point. And with that hastily constructed device, we'll need an extra edge. We'll need any extra edge we can get. Even if that edge requires we slay a series of enormous enraged beasts, I feel like I'm watching a horror film. Just go down the hallway. That's what's the worst that can happen. Plays creepy violin music. You. Well, this one's gonna be no problem. Seems like each one of these creatures defends the door. They can't be that many left. Get the feeling it's gonna get worse. Probably. Uh, okay, so before we go, I'm gonna switch these to my um, lesser potions. Just start healing up. I'm just gonna go for the attack. Try to go get one gone at a time. The Zerginator is really gonna help out with that, though. Because if it's an area of effect, or area. Yeah, area of effect attack. Aha. Uh -huh. I also, in between episodes, got the butterfly blade. I figured I'd give that a shot. We're almost there. The highest point is just down this hallway. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Okay. A couple zergs there. This looks like a boss room. And we can't get in there. This is it. Let me throw comm device down and we're in business. Hello, this is Bureau of Shipping. You've reached Will. Oh man, it worked. Yes! Will, our ship was destroyed over planet 1 of Pay in the Borgalax 5 star system. Destroyed? Who destroys a, ship in a shipment shipping ship? We're protected under the Universal Accord. We're not sure. Some alien calling himself Hugo Duco. It's a long story, Will. Which we'd love to tell you about, but we need a rescue team sent our way. You know Bureau policy, rescue is will not be sent unless your shipment is intact. 
We have the package's will. Our package rescue team has been dispatched and should arrive soonish. Why, hello, and welcome to my ostentious abode, Flux. You live here? That's revealing. Silence, you mechanical children's toy. Hugo, we're just making a call so we can get off this planet and deliver our packages. We'll be done, or we'll be gone in no time if you just. It's Hugo Duco. I hate that name so much. And you think I would let you leave with those batteries? Ha ha ha. Batteries? These are packages, Hugo. Shut it! I need those batteries. Give them to me. Alright. Let's fight him. So far, so good. Oh, I ran too quick there. He can't be stunned. Okay. That was kind of... Uh, thought that that would kind of happen. There's a lot of these guys flying about. Uh, go faster. Oh, that's, that's my guy's lightning ball. He's falling a lot quicker than that rock monster did. I know you guys didn't watch that fight, but that rock guy was, he was ballsy. What do you even need these batteries for? Surely you have more wherever you came from. I have none. Seems only fair. Dang it, Hugo. These are just packages. We're under contract to deliver them. He doesn't care about the, uh, what is it, the, the oath that the delivery people take to make sure that your package gets there on time. Okay, so I took a bit of damage, I'm gonna heal up a bit. He's bouncing about, hit him when he bounces over top. Why are you lying to me about this? Those are obviously batteries. Just hand them over. Not gonna happen. Don't have to take them from you. I mean, he says that, but like, he hasn't been doing a good job stopping me. Not yet, anyway. So those things are scary looking. Hundred and forty-two damage a swing, roughly. And now I got Berserker mode. I swing a bit faster. He's doing, he's getting poison damage. Ah, you are meddlesome though. Wait, what are we doing? Why fight when I can just take them from you? Seriously, Hugo, these are not batteries. You and your lies, they're just packages. Why are their energy levels so massive? It's just a secure core packaging, 100% renewable, and smells like fresh pine too. Whatever. It's a tappable energy source containing enough power to warp this entire swarm, uh, swarm, warp an entire swarm to this planet. Swarm? Swarm of what? What? Nothing. Who said something about a swarm? <coughs> I'll just take these batteries now. Yoink. What was that commotion? Uh, nothing. Everything's totally fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just happened. Do you still have the packages? Actually, the was super nice and we totally still have the pack there's no need to delay rescue or cut a pension excellent help us on the way oh, he just had to go and be a dick that's i was just about to say so glad the column survived that fight all that work flux focus hugo has the packages we have to get them back before rescue arrives right right any idea where he went not to worry, I've got advanced tracking on those bad boys. Beep, boop, 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 bop. Uh, Hugo seems to have warped to another part of the plant entirely. Crap, can you use the package cams to see what the place looks like? It's, it's really squishy. Nobody move. Ow, oh, my eyeballs. Flowery dear talk box, what are you two doing here? We just fought Hugo, but he fled before we could take him down. Oh, my ears are ringing. Ring with the sounds of glorious explosions. He got away? But our assault plan was perfect. Perfect! To be fair, you didn't tell us about this plan of yours, and we almost got him. Almost isn't close enough. I'll still have you, uh, my vengeance. Where did he go? Any idea what part of the planet looks super squishy and gross? The bog. He went to the bog? The bog. 
a huge living organism that consumed the land it grew on. Strange, strange beasts live there. And then backstabbing Brubus. Brubus. We need to get there. Those packages need us. As long as you get in them packages, means Hugo gets what he deserves. We'll have to turn the stone at the Creepin' Rift. Turn on the stone at the Creepin' Rift. Creepin' Rift? That doesn't sound like a nice place, Juice Box. Maybe we should just wait for rescue. Without the packages? They'll be so scared. They're barely even sentient. You know my programming won't let me leave them. You'd leave me here, too, just so you could get rescued and then fired by the Bureau? I just feel like we need something more if we're gonna... Uh, if we're going straight into dangerous territories. Bingo, I got it. Your Infinis suit has a swapper inside it. With the swapper, you can store two different loadouts. Like one for fighting, and one for harvesting, or one for lightning, one for another poisoning. Exactly. I'm rerouting the suit's subroutines to give you access. From here on, just hit the swap arrows next to the hotbar on your HUD. I can be prepared for way more situations this way. Grandmammy, we'll see you at the Creeping Rift soon. Okay, so that's Zed. Okay, so it's not an instant thing though. Can I take that? Oh, that's not what I want. Nah, uh, it doesn't belong to me. But these doorways are open now. <laughs> Coming in. Oh. I just want the items. There we go. Where are these? Harvest Palm MK3s. I don't need the um, the essences from them because I've already upgraded Zuganator. I do need to get that though. Oh, I would like to get that. So I think that's going to be a case of building out down here. I'll just make this the entrance way. Perfect. Not perfect, but it'll work. Ooh, let's get you before I forget. There's a lot happening right now. A lot of death. I'm surprised I haven't taken a hit yet. Ooh, that was a good hit. Lots of electrocution points there. See, with the Zug, I have to kind of plan where he's gonna be and try to help him. Damn. of a nuisance, but it works out in the end, I suppose. Okay. Nine. I need one more, I think. Straight shot right there. Okay. The chest better be worth it. I did almost die. So let's just do at least a bit of healing. Lots of health. Awesome. Some gravel bombs too. And just get all these. Cool. I did get that one down there. Wasn't sure if he put one down and then um Can't take that because he's on there, but now I can. Alright, so where do we have to go now? That, the creeping rift. I've already discovered it. Alrighty. Squishy area. Let's talk to Grandmammy. Just in time. These stones are old, older than the oldest Tendrum stories. Yet we still know the words to open them up. 
When past through fray, we part the way through grass, frost, and bone. Ooh, glad I didn't mess that up, champ. Mess up that champ, fickle it is. Just slap the old bog stone and you'll be on your way. On the way over here, I got to thinking. I still owe Hugo a whoopin'. And I think you two aren't as keen as just getting them boxes. I don't think Hugo will give us a choice. He'll have to take him down either way. I suppose that's true. Then on that, we're settled. Hugo must pay. But I'll be coming along to make certain of it. See you on the other side. I guess that's teleportation. I should pack everything up and move it over here. Ah, that was uncomfortable. I feel super weird right now. This looks even more disgusting than the video feeds we saw earlier. Now be careful, the bog can hear you. You don't want to hurt its feelings. Oh, that's the things I needed. Um, bog, you are the most beautiful, uh, slimy, mushy thing that I've ever seen. And I saved juice box. Everything here is so different. It doesn't seem like our current tools would be very effective. Back in the day, we were issued a bog th trowel. When doing recon missions here, I made an extra plus a special something for the two of you. Acceptable jolly stick of thunder thighs. Hmm. What's so special about these things? They seem kind of floppy. Floppy tools are great in the bog, since you can harvest stuff without stressing the bog herself too much. Use that rubbery trowel to pop them blues off the ground without hurting them. Like flipping a sawgrass pancake. Blues? Blues are the cute little glowy green things. Jolly chomps love to eat them, though they got gas sometimes. Te something terrible. I guess jolly chomps would be those squishy red mouth things. Yep. Then poor gassy jollies explode after ingesting. Just one of them blues scatters their parts all over. Biology is disgusting. You're all disgusting. Why don't you pop a few of those jolly chomps and bring me a jolly? Just so I know you're able to survive here. Okay, well that sounds easy enough. Perfect, got a couple jollies. Just get these tuskers. A jolly gastrolyph. Got your jolly right here, Grandmammy. Oh boy, that sounds weird. Well, I'll be. Seems you two got this place figured out just right. Oh, here's a lot of binary. Speak my language, juice box. You go just scramble the package tracking signal. So unscrabble it. That should be easy for a mid-range pallet model like you. Well, normally it would be, but he rewrote the subroutines so that they're doubly encrypted. I can't track the freak packages, Flux. Sounds like we'll have to find them in the old-fashioned way. I love playing detective. <sighs> well, the burbs are the only intelligent people around here, and they're a uh, conniving, backstabbing, slippery people. Better than nothing. Suit yourself. I recall an old burbus roost not far from here that I visited during the war. Last I knew, it was called Gloginax. But burbus roosts are always changing names. Heard that way and talk to whoever the current rooster is. Rooster, our brothers leader. The brothers have a weird hierarchy, always obsessing about their place in it. Never did understand them. You won't want to show up to a brothers roost without an offering. I reckon a potted tusker would serve just fine. Feel free to use my new jolly scope to make one, or build yourself one. You'll need it to thrive in the squishy place. So this is the jolly scope. All this new stuff. Don't know what that is. Did oh you dropped a package for it. Potted Tusker. Build that. Get that. That's where we built that from, so that's almost is that completely done? No, we still got some more. And a lot of stuff here. Flap. Vama are covered with these fleshy flaps. Hmm. Okay, what do you have to say? My quadrupy buddies came through uh, the portal while you were out getting set up here, but we hit a snag. Makalak, our medical officer, went west until he found a weird patch of bog skin. 
then turned north, and I haven't heard from him since. I'm sure he's okay, but we need to be sure. Find that patch, then head due north till you find signs of him. Okay. I know I just read that, but I can't remember which direction. It's head west. Yes. Right over there, perfect. Don't have any of those chomps left. Or things, whatever they're called. Okay, we are gonna go for an adventure. Splinters. Blow. Blue? I think it's a blue. There's a Vama. Okay, so that's kind of similar to, uh, to the Tartals. It's just a multi-attack. Good to know. flaps that I need as well. I don't know if I picked up any up from the other one, but very handy to know these are the things I'm supposed to be getting them from. Fighting multiple at once ain't the best thing to do. Perfect. Okay, so let's find that weird bog patch. What are these? Blech. Is it blech? I feel like it's blech. Okay, we just gotta go over a bit more. We'll see what we can find before time runs out on this episode. That looks like a bigger one. What's that? Faux sax. This looks like the place. So we're, we hit the place now. Maybe. Okay, a lot just happened. Everything just hit the, the fan. Maybe I haven't gone all the way over yet. The map hasn't updated. Oh, that looks like uh, something I should see. Look, a potion. Why would he leave a potion? All right, let's just head north. I want to get this thing because I'd love to to raise my own bomb bomb. Are they bomb bomb? I can't even remember the name. I just saw it. It's a good thing. Bumple. Bama. Bama. That's it. Okay, so we want to head north. Does it say how far north? Not too far north. Uh, through 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 deck. Third deck. Okay, there's a teleport, so we should be getting close. Yeah, just below it. That looks like we're supposed to go here. Okay, so we found him, and I'm going to leave the episode there. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, leave your comments down in the comments down below. Yeah, and let me know if there's any way I can improve my gaming. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.